um, let me reveal this secret to you. And this secret is about how some teachers form their equations if they don't want to use those in the textbooks. Let me start with a linear equation. A teacher will never form an equation unless he knew the answer. So let me start with something very elementary. If we have 6 minus 5, we all know that this is equal to 1. So a teacher may decide to remove this 6 here and replace it with x. This is just a linear equation. And if he wished to form a logarithmic equation, he may decide to substitute this one with log 10. Because log 10 is equal to 1. If you solve this equation definitely, you will get the value of x to be equal to 6. So now let me show you how some teachers form quadratic equations. For quadratic equations, you know, normally in the end, we're going to get two values. So let the first one be equal to 2 and the second one be equal to 3. So a teacher will use these two values, revise them back to form that quadratic equation, which he wished to get these two values. So the, the formula he normally uses is uh, x squared minus sum of these roots multiplied by x plus their product. This is equal to 0. Once you substitute these values here, you end up getting a quadratic equation, which when you solve, you get these values. So the sum is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So we have x squared minus 5x plus their product is um, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And this is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. And if you solve this, you must get this. Because now let us think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get 6. And when added up together, we get negative 5. Remember, the numbers will be x minus 2, x minus 3. If you set each of these to be equal to 0, you are getting 2 and 3. So let me show you how teachers form simultaneous linear equations. You know, simultaneous linear equation containing two unknown variables like say x and y. Let's say that teacher wants in the end to get the value of x to be equal to 4 and the value of y to be equal to 3. Let me show you how teachers form simultaneous linear equations. He may decide to say, okay, 2x minus y or 3x plus 2y. Do you know what we're going to do next? We are going to substitute these values here. 2 multiplied by x, 2 multiplied by 4, you know, is 8 minus y and y is 3. You know, this is equal to 5, so you will write 5 here. 3 multiplied by x, 3 multiplied by 4, you know, is 12 plus 2 multiplied by y, 2 multiplied by 3, you know, is 6. And this is equal to 18. So he will set this to be equal to 18. Therefore, in the end, if you solve this simultaneous linear equations containing two unknown variables, you have to get x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. This is just a logic. And this is all I have for you today. Subsequently, I will be revealing so many secrets to you. Bye bye.